The Kubango or Kavango River Basin is a network of river systems traversing through the three countries of Angola, Botswana and Namibia. The approximately 700,000 square kilometer basin derives its principal flow from the Angolan highlands. It stretches for approximately 1,100 kilometers and is drained by the Kubango, which becomes the Kavango in Namibia and the Okavango River in Botswana. The Okavango River forms the boundary of Namibia and Angola, and on this stretch is joined by the main tributary, the Quito, before flowing through the Panhandle as it enters Botswana and spilling into the Okavango Delta in Botswana. The core, as it is known, is internationally renowned for its significantly high biological productivity and iconic biodiversity. With a variety of habitat types characterized by high spatial heterogeneity, it remains one of the world's most important biodiversity conservation areas. The Okavango Delta is one of the largest freshwater wetlands in southern Africa. It is home to over 1,000 species of plants, more than 480 species of birds, 130 species of mammals, and numerous reptiles and fish species. In addition, it is home to the world's largest remaining population of elephants, numbering around 130,000 whose movements shape and reshape the delta's channels. The Okavango Delta is epitomized by its status as a wetland of international importance and is a Ramsar site. It was declared the 1,000th World Heritage Site under the UNESCO Convention in 2014. Basin supports predominantly rural communities, most often located either adjacent to the river or along the roads with a high level of ethnic diversity. The Corb is home to approximately 921,890 people. By 2025, this is projected to increase to more than 1.28 million people. 62% of this population lives in Angolan part of the basin. These communities occupy the upper reaches of the Kubango in fairly dense settlements and with cattle breeding being the main activity. 22% of the basin population lives in Namibia with five ethnic groups occupying the Namibian part of the basin from west to east along the river in Rundu. These communities practice fishing, hunting and collecting wild plant foods. 16% of the basin population lives in Botswana with several ethnic groups in the Panhandle area, the western, central and southeastern parts of the delta. The most commonly practiced livelihood activity is subsistence crop production and subsistence livestock rearing. Tourism is also one of the major economic activities in this part. The basin communities of these countries are remote and this is reflected in lower social and economic development in the basin. Poverty, rapid rural population growth, commercial scale resource harvesting and climate change are some of the key threats to the shared water resources of the basin. The riparian countries of Angola, Botswana and Namibia recognize that economic and social development within the basin is essential for improving the livelihoods of communities within the basin. Thus, the permanent Okavango River Basin Commission, Okakom, was established by the governments of the riparian states under the 1994 agreement with a mandate to advise the member states on conservation, development and sustainable utilization of water resources in the core. OCACOM exists to promote and support the opening of pathways to improve livelihoods while conserving the natural resources in the CORB through the revealing opportunities offered by joint transboundary management and development. The shared vision is to achieve an economically prosperous, socially just and environmentally healthy development of the Kubango Okavango River Basin. This vision is being achieved through Okacom Strategic Action Program for the sustainable development and management of the poor. The strategy is a basin-wide policy framework complemented by four thematic areas. Livelihoods and socio-economic development, water resource management, land management, as well as environment and biodiversity. 
The implementation of this strategy is the responsibility of OCACOM and the governments of the riparian states through the support of international cooperating partners and other stakeholders. This work offers potential to contribute to economic development of the Corb and through its secretariat, OCACOM promotes integrated transboundary management of the basin. The Commission will always provide advice to member states and key stakeholders in the spirit of agreed national, regional and international conventions using the best available data, evidence-based policy formulation and decision-making. The CORB remains home to a shared vision, joint decisions and mutual benefits for all.